Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Claire and this is Yoli. I make videos all about houseplant care, sharing tips and tricks I've learned over the years to help keep your plants happy and healthy. And this is gonna be a fairly quick video, but just something that I felt like I needed to put out there at this time of year, because this is the first time that I've had a little bit of outdoor space to play with with my houseplants, and the weather has been beautiful, and I've started moving some of them outside, and I've started having issues. And I really wish that I had seen a video like this a few weeks ago, because, I've got quite a lot of things going on with my plants as a result of not doing things properly. And this is something that technically I did know and I just should have been a little bit more vigilant about. So if you are considering putting your plants outside for the summer or even moving them much closer to a window, please watch this video because hopefully it will help to save some of your plants. So basically what you have to think about is acclimating your plants to a new environment in the same way as you would do if you were bringing an import into your home. And basically what that means is just doing things very, very slowly in order to essentially build up their resilience and build up their capability of surviving in that new environment. And I've got my big Monstera Deliciosa here as an example. And as you can see, she has severely burnt on her leaves and this is a plant that when I lived at my mum's house this one was used to living in pretty much full sun and she never burnt but that is simply because her tolerance kind of built up over time and it wasn't it wasn't an immediate thing and so she didn't kind of go into shock and what I should have done with this plant in order to avoid burning, because I know she is capable of growing in full sun, I should have eased her into life on my balcony very gradually. I should have probably started with moving her, moving her closer to the window, and then every single day kind of doing maybe an hour and then taking her in, and then two hours and taking her in, just so that this didn't happen. And it's actually very interesting because I've had the same issue with my bird of paradise and my bird of paradise lives right up against the window of my balcony and it does get quite a lot of full sun and it's never burnt. But again, I put it out on my balcony and within two days, I, I'll put a clip in because one of its leaves has completely singed. And obviously I just assumed that because it had very high light already, it would just be fine to be put straight outside. But what you need to remember is that even windows will provide a little bit of sun protection that you don't see. And it, it's so easy to assume that your plants are going to be fine. But... I'm just putting it out there because I've got two plants now that are very much not fine and I'm very upset about it. So yeah, as I say, ideally, if you would like to put your plants outside for summer or move them, this applies to moving them to lower lighting conditions as well, but I'm just focusing on the time of year that we are at at the moment. If you are gonna be moving them outside, take it very, very slowly, really ease them into that transition and don't just put them out there and expect them not to have any issues. And also in regards to acclimating your plants, it isn't just light that you've got to think about. You've also got to take into consideration different temperatures, different levels of humidity, Humidity, all of that sort of stuff that you will need to build up your plants resilience to over time and not just to see that they can get there instantly. So for example, if you have got a plant that's used to very high humidity levels in your home, like say for example, you're keeping your home humidity at about 70% and you're going to put it out into an environment that's got 40 to 50 percent again that is a gradual change that you're going to need to make because if you do just put it outside instantly you're going to have very dry very crispy leaves and a very unhappy plant very quickly so yeah that's pretty much all i jumped on here to say i feel like there's i, I could go into more detail but i don't think there's really a lot more to say on the matter if anybody's got any questions then please do comment them down below and i will do my best to help but just take things slowly with your plants, look after them, accept the fact that even if they are a very hardy plants, they might still not respond in the way that you're expecting and just ease them into any new changes slowly. There we go. That was a big rant and a waffle, but I hope it made sense and I hope it helps. If it did, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, have a lovely day, and I will see you in the next video.